What the hell are you doing, pal? It's a simple question. Which woman do you care about the most? Is it Blair, the mother of your children? Or maybe it's Taya. She's had your back legally and otherwise. But who knows, could be Marty. Look at all that you risked when you took care of her all those months before she knew who she was and who you were. That would kind of fit. That between all these women, you care the most about the woman you raped. So, so come on, Todd. Who is it? Make a choice. There is no choice, pal. What the hell do you want me to say? I want you to say who lives and who dies. Oh, my God. Because whoever you do pick lives, and the other two don't. I killed you, Mama. What are you doing you here? No, I'm sorry, right Papa. I did it. No, no, no. no you I made you say it. Ex- no, it was tell him. Hey, hey, stop it. Tell him. Tell him how I saw you in bed with that man and how disgusting it was. Tell him how I got the knife. No. Yeah. And then I ran at you with the knife and there was blood everywhere and you were crawling on the floor and then you stopped and, and then I didn't know what to do because I had the knife and, and everything was just going and they were going to take you and I didn't know where to go with it and, and, I, and I didn't want you to go. I couldn't stop. Hey, hey, hey no, no. Stop, stop, stop. Hey, hey, look at me. What are you saying? I killed my mind. I made you pay. Reason Ben. She conked out the minute her head hit the pillow. Oh, that's good. You know, she's my daughter. I shouldn't ask her to lie for me. No, but you kind of had to. But maybe we won't have to keep our relationship a secret for long. Natalie and Jared are getting married tomorrow. Don't you think they're gonna have more important things on their minds than us? (laughs) You don't know my sister. She doesn't let things slide. You know, she thinks that you're the reason that Rex broke up with Gigi. I know I'm asking a lot of you. Well, I have a feeling it's gonna be worth it in the long run. Me too. I mean, it's not like anyone's life depends on it. Some secrets are okay for a while. Why aren't you crying, baby? Did I say something to upset you? No. No, not you. Pal, you're out of your mind. I'm not playing games with these women's lives. You disappointed? You really wanted to hear Todd say he cared about you the most. You go to hell. What about you, Taya? Would have been nice hearing your name, right? Just stop this. I can't. Todd won't choose, so I have to. Don't do this, pal. Unlike him, I have no problem choosing. (sighs) Marty. I could never hurt you again. You know that, don't you? I'm doing this for you. (sighs) Marty, I... Don't want to leave you here alone with him, but I have to, just for a while. Now, you two, Blair and Taya, you get over here. Now, Todd, say goodbye. (laughs) Okay. So, uh, how was that? Was that what you thought it would be? Not really. It was better. Way better. I'm sorry, Papi. I'm very sorry. I just got a, a wave of 
anxiety about Chloe. What would I do if I ever lost her? I don't know why my mind goes there. Because your mom? I mean, isn't that what you do? Worry about your kids? Look how far Gigi went. She was so scared Shane would get sick again. I get it. I worry about Shane all the time, and I'm not even his father. That's what I love about you. <laughs> you know, I, I think about Star and Cole. Their baby died. They, they don't even know why. That they're willing to have their baby's body exhumed so they can find out. I, I and I and I think about that, and then I, I look at Chloe, and I just I just I just suddenly got anxious and over overly protective. I get it. And I love that about you. Could you be any more perfect? She's the one who's perfect. Perfectly fine and no reason to worry. You're right. There's no reason to worry. Not at all. Get you out of here. Lock the door, Zach. Zach, don't! Now lock the door. Now both of you, move it. Stay up. Stay up. 